Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here. Happy New Year coming at you with 2021 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Six boxes. This is pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. No paper base ships except for those three players that you know by now. Let's flip over here. Big thanks to all the people who bought their teams straight up. I appreciate that. I know there's a little bit of a delay with the Super Jumbo, so I appreciate everyone's patience here as well. Thanks to Michael for grabbing the Cleveland Guardians, Last Spot Mojo. Thanks everybody else for making this happen. Now the previous break, we did have a little help from uh, from Evan who was pack stacking for us, but we're not gonna have that luxury here. So this is gonna take a little bit longer than the previous breaks, but just hang in there. We'll get to we'll get this one done and we'll move on to some of the other breaks that we have on the schedule. Super Jumbo, definitely massive. We're looking at five autos per box on average, as opposed to three in the Jumbo Edition. Of course, he's coming those uh, the sausage link packs. Five of those sausage link packs. Now I haven't heard, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't heard too much commentary about this from anyone in the chat. But usually, whenever this comes out, some people are usually like, "Oh, the autographs are better in Super Jumbo, but you get more parallels in Jumbo, or vice versa." I haven't heard anyone uh, say say that one way or the other, but it possibly could be. That pattern. There is a better in Super Jumbo, always has sort of a better rhythm between like. Paper chrome, paper chrome, paper chrome, paper chrome. Anyone actually here wa this, watching this break live? Are you in this break and watching the break live? There might be some people around. And of course, we'll, we will have an autograph recap at the uh, end of the video. So if you're watching the replay of this, um, you know where to go. Fast forward to the end of the video. And if you're watching live, we did I did post another pick your team of Super Jumbo. So if you want to run this back tomorrow, we definitely can. There's McCade Brown, 199, Aqua. And of course, there's our first Henry Davis paper. Henry Davis, where Henry Davis, Colton Kauser, Marcelo Meyer are the only paper base that ships. All the other paper base will be uh, will be donated. We sell it and we to the kids around town. They're actually pretty popular these boxes, and then we donate the proceeds to to charity. The 
There's a Henry Davis Genesis card, 250. It's a cool looking insert. Uh, that will be Mark Bissett with the Pirates. And there's our first auto, first of five in this box. 310 out of 499, Jay Allen. <clears throat> it's Mark with the Reds. Your uh, late first round pick, 30th overall. And we got Jazz at uh, at Nuggets, maybe? Or are they in Utah? A little ESPN basketball on the background. Got a Tanner Allen green speckle, 64 out of 99 for Miami. That's going to go to Robert. And our next autograph is a purple chrome autograph, purple refractor, Spencer Schwellenbeck, 183 out of 250. Purple auto for the Braves, William Smith. With the world champion Braves. got some gold paper Lynn Marceau six out of 50 for the halos that'll be big boys 007 David with that one Colton Kowser EA Orioles Got Noel V. Marte, Aqua Lava Refractor, 179 out of 199 for the Mariners. That'll be for Travis. Remember, we'll uh, our sorting and shipping team will sleeve and top load all of those cards I'm setting aside before they get sorted and shipped out to you, of course. Anthony with the Rays gets the Ryan Spikes autograph. Ruben Ibarra, 78 out of 499 paper for the Reds, Mark. All right, next group. Should have two more autographs. Mitchell's saying he can't go to the basketball, so he'll shoot it. 
We've got another paper, Marcelo Meyer. This will be for Travis and the Red Sox. And Kai Bush is your autograph. David, Big Boys 007 with the Angels Auto. Second rounder. Harry Ford, not Henry Ford, Harry Ford, 116 out of 250. Purple paper for Travis and the M's. I like these Invicta cards. These are pretty sharp. And Jackson Job, 106 out of 150. Blue Refractor Auto for Detroit. Karen, there you go, Karen. Believe you a top five pick? Yeah, third overall. And Casey Mize, Jackson Job, Spencer Torkelson, Riley Green start putting together some of those some of those prospect names we've been seeing over the last couple of years or so. You know, and if half of those big names that we've been seeing come to fruition, it'll be uh, that'll be a good squad for the for the Tigers. And I don't think the Tigers don't strike me as a team that's afraid to spend money. You know, they've they've splashed the cash for some some players over the years. So if they could get a nice. Good young core players in there. They can trade some of those prospects as well. Lure a couple free agents to, to, to Detroit. They may be an interesting team to watch in the next, I don't know, two to, two to three years. Two to five seasons, if not soon. Three to five seasons, if not sooner. If they're ahead of schedule. Next box. Let's see if there's any... Uh, any news on baseball MLB trade rumors .com? Cameron Maben announces retirement. Kyle, that's right. Kyle Seeger announces retirement. I was a little surprised by that. I'm not sure how old he is, but I thought I thought he still had something left in the tank. But maybe not. Apparently there's some interest uh, by the Cubs in Carlos Correa. Could be interesting. A's name Mark Cot. Remember Mark Kotze? Mark Kotze is a manager for the A's. I think we saw the Buck. We've talked about the Buck Showalter as manager. The MLB and the Players Union not expected to score, discuss core economics until uh, January. I guess it's January now. So. What else? Blue Jays apparently were pursuing Corey Seager before he ended up with the Rangers. Mm -hmm. 
Bud Fowler, Gil, Gil Hodges, finally. Jim Cat, Minnie Minoso, Tony Oliva, Buck O'Neill elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. There's Emmanuel Rodriguez, four ninety nine for the Twins, Ryan. Henry Davis. Nice. Yellow Lava Refractor. 38 out of 75. That's a sharp looking card for Mark Bissett and the Pirates. And a Blue Wave autograph to 150. 150 out of 150. Frank Mozicato. That's uh, Matthew with the Kansas City Royals. First of five autographs in this box. First round pick, seventh overall. Nice. Got a Yankees autograph. We got Brendan Beck. Got two turntables and a microphone. Joseph with the New York Yankees. Got another Henry Davis paper. Number one overall pick. You see some red? I'd love to. I'd love to pull some red. We did pull a red paper, non-auto red paper in the last jump, super jumbo. I'd love to see maybe a super fractor in this case. Third auto, three of five. Ryan Webb, two twenty out of four ninety nine. For Michael in Cleveland, last spot mojo strikes again. Seventy percent of the time, hundred percent of the time. Cleveland, this is for you. Hunter Goodman, 429 out of 499. This good man is going to go to Brandon in Colorado. Colton Towser paper. Yeah. 
And Colton Cowser, purple paper to 250. It's for EA and the O's. Paper, 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 paper. Oh, no, Darren's saying he's seeing red because he's angry. Right, He. I don't think you've hit yet, Darren. There's Kevin Copps. Uh, green Speckle to 99. Joe, where have all the Cowboys gone? I have no idea. I'm sure there's some still around. Still got to be still around. Right? I think there's still some cattle herding that's happening in the Midwest and Texas, maybe. Mason Miller, A's. That'll be for Jorge and the Athletics. Got a Gunnar Henderson, purple chrome. This purple refractor for EA and the O's. There's Logan Henderson and a Henry Davis Aqua Lava Refractor autograph. 127 out of 199 for Mark Bissett and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Nice one, Mark. But no, uh, no, not all the not all the autos. Four of the five autos were pitchers, but one of them really nice hitter. Yeah, spoke too soon. Play the whistle, Rashid. Remember, there are five autos in a super jumbo box. We've got a Tristan Casas blue paper to one fifty. For the Red Sox, that'll be for Travis. Just because he's a pirate? I'm not sure I understand that, Rex. You speak in riddles. All right, next Super Jumbo Box. So what, what's going on with the... Uh, Oh, the Dodgers here. There's As expected, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, as expected, the Dodgers and Potters are the two teams that exceeded the luxury tax threshold this past season. The Associated Press reports that Los Angeles will pay $32, $32 million in fines. Padres, only a, only a million. $1.29 million. No other teams have exce exceeded the threshold in 2021. Must not have gone. Yeah, all I saw was just because he's a pirate. It was the only thing I got. And then LOL.
think the penalties go up every year. But this might be, you can also kind of like reset the number if you're under it for one year and then it starts over. I don't think the Dodgers were ever going after Carlos Correa, Rex. But I, MLB Trade Rumors did mention the Cubs talking, kicking the tires on Carlos Correa. There's probably there's probably more more to it's probably more to Freddie Freeman possibly going to the Dodgers than there is to Carlos Correa and even Freddie Freeman's I think is a long shot because I think the Braves are gonna are gonna lock that guy up. And <laughs> Dodgers have Dodgers, Dodgers have deep pockets they can definitely afford the tax. And still add to that payroll too if they wanted to. But in recent, in past years, they have, they have done the the multiple steps of the luxury tax punishment, the luxury tax, and then have taken a year to reset, and then start over again. There's right, Kelvin DeCastro. To 250 purple refractor for the Blue Jays. That'll be for a pain. And there's a Colton Kowser autograph. There you go. EA with the O's. Nice hit for the Orioles. So the last auto of the uh, previous box was Hunter uh, Hunter Davis, Henry Davis, and the first auto out of here is your fifth overall pick, Colton Kowser. Nice one. There's McKay Brown, purple paper to 250. Rex is saying you're torn about getting Cray. You know the Cray would make a great addition, but can't get over the cheating thing. Yeah, I mean that's something that fans are gonna have to reconcile. And there's Doug Nikhazy, 157 out of 250 for Michael and the Cleveland Guardians. Nice. I guess still Indians in this set, but... And the Guardians now. Cleveland, this is for you. There's Edwin Arroyo, paper to four ninety nine for the Mariners. That's gonna to go to Travis. Rex is saying that's what's messed up. Correa is a great player, not sure why I felt the need to do it. I mean, it's the same thing with steroid guys, right? Like, you see great players who get popped for PEDs, and you're like, well, you're already a great player. Why did you need to do, do that? But, you know, in that world, in that world of professional sports, where, you know, you're looking for every edge possible, and sometimes you, it takes you down 
down a weird road. This is Elmer Rodriguez Cruz, green refractor to 99 for Boston. That'll be for Travis. And there's McCade Brown for the Rockies. That'll be for Brandon. Speaking of Carlos, there's his brother, J.C. Correa. That'd be kind of weird. I think he's a shortstop, too. Can you imagine if Carlos Correa leaves? And then in a couple of years, that position is filled by another Correa. It's like, ah, we got your brother. Your brother will fill in just fine. There's Pedro Leon to 499. That will be for Daniel, Dan O in Houston. Right, yeah, it's it's similar to money, Rex. You're, you're absolutely right. The more you get, the more you want, you know. Not only Bezos, eh? any one of those like billionaires. And the more awards you get, it's not even like it's not even about the awards. There's Micah Odenbright. It's about money. It's a, it's about the difference between, you know, hitting 300 and hitting 250. You know, is like maybe what 20, 30 hits over the course of. There's Eric uh, Sarantola for Kansas City. It's 20, 30 hits over the course of a 500 at bat season. I think there was a famous line about that in Bull Durham. Just get one hit, one extra hit a week. You're hitting 300 and you're playing in Yankee Stadium. And then nowadays, you know, if this guy goes 0 for 4, then he's getting, you know, hammered on social media with death threats. <laughs> you, you screwed my fantasy team this week. Yeah, I mean, these, all these players. And, and if you think about it, at the major league level, everyone's great. You know, Pedro Leon is probably the best kid in his elementary school, his junior high school, his high school. And then you start getting to the majors, then everybody is good. Even the worst major league baseball player is probably the, probably the best all in, his, in his town, most likely. And you start to think, hey, if I, uh, if I'm a, a twenty home run hitter, maybe if I do a little bit of the PEDs, maybe that, maybe that helps me recover faster, be able to have better stamina throughout the season. Maybe that gets me thirty-five home runs in a season. That's a big difference in a paycheck when you're when you're up for free agency. And there's a Jordan Lawler autograph. Nice. That is for Darren McKenzie. There you go. You're a sixth overall pick. Yeah, social media, media hate is it is it is fascinating. I'm not I avoid it as much as possible. Social media. There's a nice
nice Invicta. I think some of these can be autographed. Some of we've seen some that are numbered as well. Oh, I think I, I noticed the splash of color here. I forgot to pull this. Brainer Bonacci to one ninety nine. That's for Travis in Boston. All right, halfway through the Super Jumbo break. Next box. How are we doing on time? 37 minutes to get halfway through, so we got about another 40 minutes to go or so. Sausage link packs here. All right, let's keep going. Utah is up 33-28 on Denver. At the kind of early-ish in the second quarter. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. Did you see that Antonio Brown thing? I read about it yesterday and today it's coming out. No, what happened? So, you know, everybody was thinking, oh, it's because of incentives. Oh, it's because, you know, he, they were losing. Right. But it ended up being really that he didn't feel like his ankle was right, so he didn't want to go in. And Bruce Aarons came up to him saying, like, what's going on with you? Like, why aren't you going in here? He's like, it's my ankle. Then he said, all right, you're done. Like, you're done. You're not a buck no more. Is he thinking, like, he didn't want to play hard oh. for him? So that's why he got frustrated and left. And then, like he said, he goes, it wasn't, it was like that. And then he basically leaked out saying that. So Bruce Arians Before was the like, game, they gave me yeah, an I don't care about your ankle. Yeah. Go in. They gave me an injection that is, Interesting. That the NFL PA said that it's very bad for us athletes. Basically, a painkiller that's really bad. And wow. they injected me up. So I'm like, ooh, Bruce Arians is pretty much at far right here. Wow. So that's why they haven't cut him yet, because they're investigating all of that. And then he said that he went to the doctor on Monday morning and he had like a broken bone in his ankle and shit like that. That's crazy. So everyone was just thinking he just like just melted yeah. down, but and I read but now it's not the, not now, now that's not the case. He could get in trouble for all of this because he was just like stop being a wuss, you know. Right. Just come in. Take take a take this dangerous painkiller shot and go out there. Yeah, and I'm trying to say like you know, cool ongoing cover ups. MRI of the ankle shows broken bone fragments stuck to my ankle. The leg wow. was stuck to the bone. West Cath for Jeffrey and the White Sox. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's a well, this is why this is why the NFL is great. It's like it's like, it's like soap opera, you know? This is like real life soap opera. It's not scripted. You can't script stuff like this. There's Cody Morissette, two oh four out of two fifty, purple chrome.
And the Antonio Brown saga continues. There's Wilman Diaz to 199. For the Dodgers, Ryan Gamsby. We got Chase Petty, 107 out of 150. Twins autograph for Ryan Lind. Stack here. And we got a gold. Hedbert Perez, 41 out of 50 for the Brew Crew. It's going to be for Ryan Lynn. And we got a TJ White. For the Nats, Xi Jia Chen with the Nationals. We haven't seen TJ in the chat recently. Hopefully he's doing well. Or at least I haven't, but I've been taking some time off. Maybe he's checked in already with some of the other guys. We got Maddox Bruns, 27 out of 50. Gold paper for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Ryan G. in a row. Here's Micka Bell, 127 out of 250 for the fight and fills. Brooks with the Phillies. And we got some Tommy Mace, 21 out of 50. Cleveland, this is for you. Michael with the tribe. Last ball mojo. Colton Cowser refractor. Eric 
Eric Pena. Purple paper. One uh, looks like 178 out of 250 for Kansas City. That will be for Matthew and the Royals. There's that fifth autograph right there. And we've got Brooks Goswin. 50 out of 75. Yellow Lava Refractor. And Kai Bush is your fifth autograph of the box. I have no idea, Rashid. I, I, I don't know what the, what the paper market is. For those three, for those top three guys. So yeah, I don't know. On that Henry Davis, there there might be some of on that have sold already. I know like the chrome stuff, obviously, chrome, numbered, anything like 25 or less, you know, they're like a top 10 pick, go for hundreds of dollars. You know, you end up grading the, those, those kind of cards out, you know, and even more. But a lot of these is really just, uh, you know, these are all prospects, so it's kind of a more of a wait and see game. This is more of a a long term investment as opposed to, I mean, you could still some of the names you can still flip more immediately. But for most of these players, it's going to be uh, hold on to it for it's a long game. Hold on to it for a couple of years, a few years, and wait until they make it to the majors and. Uh, hopefully they end up becoming stars. That's the whole. Uh, that's one of the the main draws of these Bowman Bowman draft products. A lot of people go big on these. You know, they find a player or two that they like, and they go big on bu buying those teams and getting those players, and then they end up taking the time to grade all of those out and hopefully get out of 10s and whatnot. And, and then if that player ends up being a superstar, you know, then, then you're going to end up making a nice tidy return on these. That's the that's the hope anyway. <laughs> it doesn't happen all the time, but Stretch out a little bit here. Uh, 
All right, Jordan, how's it going? All right. Second to last box, Super Jumbo. We got Aqua Lava Refractor Alex ben, uh, Benellis to one ninety nine. That will be for Ryan Lynn and the Brew Crew and Ricky Tideman. Toronto Blue Jays Payne with the Toronto Blue Jays. There you go, on the board. And a Colton Kowser, blue paper, 22 out of 150. I know, you see his hair? Got some good show hair right there. I like it. We got Gavin Williams, 436 out of 499. Cleveland, this is for you. Michael, once again. 23rd overall pick. Diego Cartaya, 75 out of 75. One of the reasons why the Dodgers let go of Kiebert Ruiz. That goes to Ryan G. And there's TJ White, Aqua, Lava, Refractor, 114 out of 199 for Chen and the Nats. There's Reginald Preciado. Purple paper to 250 for the Cubs. That'll be for John.
Two more autos to go in this box. Luke Murphy, 17 out of 50 for the Angels. That'll be for David. And we got a return of the Mac, Joe Mac. Miami, that'll be for Robert Throne. 31st overall pick. Victor autograph coming up. I was telling telling everybody those inserts can be autographed, and here it is: Pedro Pineda, sixty-two out of ninety-nine. This reminds me of the movie Invictus, which I have not seen. It's about a South African rugby team, I think, during apartheid times, something like that. Matt Damon. I have not seen it. I hear it's a good movie, though. There's Andrew Painter to 499 for the Phillies. It's going to be for Brooks. I don't know if I have a fave in this product, Rashid. These are all like these guys were all drafted in 2021 last summer. So these 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 are all brand new ball players. So I don't really have an opinion on any of these guys. Obviously, I want them to do well. It will be good for the hobby for people who end up with these cards. The number one overall pick is that Pirates catcher Henry Davis. So you definitely want to see him do well. But these are all prospects. Who knows? Who knows what will happen to any of these guys? I mean, it's possible that the guys in the box, Henry Davis and Marcelo Meyer, could, could just be terrible, could be complete busts. I hope they're not. But they could end up being complete busts and some other random player, you know, may end up being the, the hot commodity in this product. That's what's exciting about Bowman Draft. Final Super Jumbo Box. Good luck, everybody. Almost there.
And after this box, we'll do that autograph recap. I'm definitely going to have to take a little break after this. And then uh, we'll get to whatever is next on the schedule. there. We've well, got Pedro Pineda again. 90 out of 99 for the A's. It'll be for Jorge who got the that Invicta autograph as well which looks really sharp. And look at this, blue wave autograph, Henry Davis. One, two, three out of one, five, zero. Nice one for Mark Bissett and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Nice, number one overall pick. Should be, hopefully will be the Pirates catcher for, for decades. There's Aaron Sabato to 250. He's also another another bigger name in the hobby. First rounder from last year. Saw him in a bunch of bunch of times in last year's product. Yeah, I, I hope Otani keeps it up too. That'd be that'd be hashtag good for the hobby. Speaking of the Angels, there is Sam Bachman. Two forty six out of two fifty. Taking care of business. And we've got Aaron Zavala. Rangers, that's gonna be for SKS. I think it'd be uh I think he'd be good for the hobby. You know, before before the 2021 season, in the off season, so I guess in 2020, in the fall, summer of 2020, Otani kind of reconstructed kind of everything. He, he went to some different baseball training programs and then just kind of rebuilt his body to make like his legs stronger and all that sort of stuff to, to be able to go through the rigors of a of a long baseball season, which is longer than the Japanese league, you know, so injuries were a little bit of his, a concern for him. There's Schwellenbach to 499. So that's why, you know, he was healthy this season and when healthy, we can see what, what we see what he can do. Boone, do catchers go number one overall in baseball often? No, but in recent years, they have it's kind of been a recent trend. I think Joey was Joey Bart, a number one overall pick. I think Joey Bart was a number one overall pick a few years ago. And then the year after that was Adley Rushman. Um, and then I think there was someone else the year after that. No, Bart was second overall. And I think Adley Rushman, the Orioles catcher, was another number one overall pick. And then someone else went number one. 
But then, uh, um, and then this year it was Henry Davis went number one overall. So recently, I feel like there we've seen a lot more catchers than usual in that top one or two spot. And I feel like people, I feel like people like collecting catchers. Maybe there's Owen Callington to 150. You know they're kind of in a thankless position, right? But they're they're like the quarterback of the game, and kind of kind of physically, physically rough, just crouching and getting up and crouching and all that sort of stuff. So it's Jackson Job, nice Tigers autograph for Karen. I think people like catchers in general. Usually, usually one of the smarter guys on the, one of the smartest guys on the team. So I'd like to see these high drafted, highly drafted catchers do well in the hobby. Jordan, yeah, uh, I haven't seen a lot of out of tens, but I did pull an out of red paper, non auto out of five in the last super jumbo break. And then I pulled a Adley Rushman non-auto superfractor. I must have seen some tens around too, but it doesn't jump out at me just quite yet. Got Robert Gasser, Speckle. Jumping Jack Flash. It's a gas, gas, gas. And a green auto, green refractor auto, 61 out of 99, Tanner Allen. That's for the fish. That's going to go to Robert Throne. Should be expecting one more auto out of here. And Jeremy De La Rosa to 199 for Xi Jia Chen and the Nationals. Oh, that's right. Bowman's best. I pulled a super fractor too. I have to take a picture of that actually. Got a Jason Dominguez. That might be a variation. Let's set that aside. And our fifth and final autograph, Andrew Abbott. That is for Mark Bissett and the Cincinnati Redlegs, our last auto of the Super Jumbo break. And let's see what else we have. Maybe a low numbered card to close things out would be awesome. Julio Rodriguez to four ninety nine. There's the Pedro Pineda Invicta card. We saw that autograph in the last box. Some refractors. Oh, so that was a variation. All right, great. So I set it aside. 
Nick York and Carson Williams at the end. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was your super jumbo break. Here's a quick little recap. A lot of nice color. A lot of the top draft picks at Henry Davis was nice. Those Invicta autographs look really sharp. I like those lava parallels. The lava refractors, I think, look really great. There's a lava Henry Davis right there. That's pretty strong. Really strong break all in all. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, that was, once again, that was 2021 Bowman Draft Baseball Six Box Super Jumbo. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you're watching live, we did load up another one before we started this break. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking. Um, I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.